Hi, Shalom. This video is a discussion of a Holocaust film, so the subjects of racism and prejudice are going to come up, but there won't be any detailed descriptions. Today, I'm going to share some thoughts, okay, a lot of thoughts, on the film The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. The story is told through the eyes of Bruno, the young son of a Nazi soldier who gets deployed to work at Auschwitz. So the family moves from Germany to Poland. Bruno finds a fence and on the other side are thin people wearing mysterious striped pajamas, including a little boy his age. The two become friends and have clandestine meetings at the fence. Bruno slowly begins to learn the reality of what the Nazi soldiers are actually doing. This is a different kind of Holocaust film because it's through the perspective of a child. You really see how racism and prejudice are learned behaviors. Bruno assumes the prisoners are farmers and he asks his parents about the farm. Children are not innately hateful. They are innately curious. They are gathering information and learning about the world around them. I've had situations where a kid sees me and asks their parent slash caregiver about what they're observing. The most recent example of this is when I was in a coffee shop with a friend who also has hearing loss. We were using ASL and this girl said, mommy, what are they doing? The mother had the knee-jerk reaction I see all too often. Don't stare. It's rude. When we shut down a child's curiosity like that, we're teaching them to think of people who are different as the other. An us versus them kind of mindset. This kiddo wasn't asking the question out of prejudice. She was asking because she'd most likely never had seen people use sign language before. She was looking for new information to mentally file away. So in the movie, like I said, Bruno mistakes the prisoners for farmers. He asks his parents about them and you can see them freeze up like a deer in the headlights. Now, I've had that feeling before when kids have asked me about something I'm struggling to explain in a way that they'll understand, but the way his parents freeze up is different. It's more like, okay, how on earth do we justify what we're doing here? <sighs> After the father kind of gets his thoughts together, he says point blank, those people are not actually people. <laughs> Bruno gives him a, pu a puzzled look, and you can see the wheels in his head turning like, okay, head, head, eyes, eyes, ears, ears, torso, torso. That checks out. They look like people to me. Bruno and his father look at the situation in vastly different ways. His father is physically and mentally distanced from the people he sees as different and inferior. In all likelihood, he probably never interacted with a Jew the way Bruno is interacting with Shmuel. Bruno is constantly hearing, the Jews did this, the Jews did that. But he has something the rest of his family doesn't have. First-hand experience with a person he is being taught to hate. So when he hears all this anti-Semitic bullshit in his head, he's thinking, Shmuel didn't do this. Schmoll didn't do that. When you have a name and a face to connect to the other group, injustice becomes much harder to ignore. I'm not going to get into how it ends, both because I'm still processing it myself and because it's, it's absolutely brutal and I don't want to traumatize anyone else. Um, if you want to know how it ends, you can, you can look it up or watch it yourself. Um, the ending gives you a lot to think about, but it's absolutely brutal. Um, if you've seen it and know how it ends, please don't share in the comments. I'm going to be screening comments for that reason and removing any references to the ending. 
There is one thing I can say without revealing how it ends. We get to choose whether or not we adhere to hateful ideology. We don't always get to choose how that turns out. I've been having tons of technical issues, so I'm not sure how soon I'll be able to air this, but I'll finish post-production and get it aired as soon as I can. All right, thanks for watching. Thanks again for all the support, and I'll be back soon. All right, bye.